as Lord Jagannath. Hare Krishna. Anyway, it's been a rough morning for me. Um, can't find my keys, so I'm going to have to do some acrobatics to get in my house later on. Last night, to get in the house, I had to do some acrobatics. And I had my key. You know what I'm saying? But it's just sometimes you got smooth days and sometimes you got rough days. Right now, I know I look rough. It's not even a secret, you know. It's been a rough day. Like I said, I feel like I look like that dude who be imitating all of the West Indians. He knows all of the accents. Haitians, he be talking Creole. He be talking that Martinique dialect. He be talking that Trinidadian, Jamaican. Homeboy just be looking rough like I and I rust a man. I man don't believe in trim. That's how he look like. He don't believe in no trimmers. Trimmers? How are that man? The tech big man fifth hole. Anyway, right? Let's get to the subject. I'd like to give a shout out to Miley Cyrus. Cause girl, you don't lost your mind. What are you doing reading Srila Prabhupada's books? Do you realize what's about to happen to you? Your life is about to change and become very auspicious. No more mollies. No more dropping it like it's hot on stage. But the truth of the matter is, what's required in Krishna consciousness is not a change of your position. No one expects you to give up your career or to become suddenly poor or give all of your money to a famous guru or swami. What's required is a change of consciousness. So instead of everything being self-centered, and doing things for your personal pleasure. We want to try to influence you to do things for Krishna's pleasure. The whole idea of Krishna consciousness is to reclaim the part of you that's the original you. Your original consciousness. Everything has a nature. The nature of water is wet. The nature of fire is to be hot and burn. And the nature of the soul is to serve. Either you're going to serve illusion or you're going to serve the Supreme Lord. So I'd like to congratulate you, but I'd also like to remind you that you're losing your mind. You're losing your material mind, your material intelligence, and your false ego just by being exposed to Srila Prabhupada's books. Let me give you a little background first of all. I don't know when you started reading Srila Prabhupada's books, but a few months ago, a Prabhu who supports me in a lot of ways, he always sends me Srimad Bhagavatam's, which is a very, very powerful and auspicious book. Srimad Bhagavatam, he always, you know, he be hooking, he, he just blesses me all the time, right? So one day he hits me, he's like, son man, he calls me son man, he don't call me caprice or none of that, he, son man, uh, hey, Hare Krishna, son man, hey, I think you should put Miley Cyrus in your tags. This is what he said to me a few months ago. Your videos should be getting a lot more views, they top off around 1,000, you know, put some some popular names in there like different sports teams and stuff like that so this is what he's telling me to do <clears throat> so i start putting your name and some of the keywords on my youtube videos like you know let me just try this miley cyrus thing next thing you know a couple of days ago i'm seeing pictures of you on facebook holding srila Prabhupada's book by the way that book that you're reading uh i forgot the name of the book everybody knows the book like journey to self-realization or something like that most people who come into Krishna consciousness, or a lot of people who come into Krishna consciousness, actually start off reading that book, The Journey of Self-Realization. Very good book. I actually gave one to a young lady when I worked at Fairway Market in Westbury, Long Island. I hope she's reading that book, and I hope she gets to take advantage of that book. But you have lost your mind. Material fun is not going to seem so fun no more you're going to start to develop a higher taste especially if you start chanting Hare Krishna mantra your life is going to become more auspicious and you're going to find that if you thought you were misunderstood before you're going to be even more misunderstood now but there's going to be a new class of people who's going to respect you even more and gravitate to you even more Miley Cyrus you have the life of thousands if not millions of children in your hands you can lead people into a better world or you could lead them further down the path of degradation. The choice is actually yours. But I want to congratulate you on losing your material mind. <laughs> I want to let you know that anybody who calls on the name of Goranitai or Prabhu Nityananda and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who are the most munificent and merciful incarnations of God, specifically for this fallen, degraded age where none of us could seem to get anything right, when you call on their names, 
understand that within this lifetime or the next few lifetimes, you're going to be torn from the material world, willingly or unwillingly. This is just the mercy that you're going to receive. And don't worry, life on the other side is much more better and the grass truly is much greener in the spiritual original world. So I just want to congratulate you on reading Prabhupada's books and continue to encourage you on reading Srila Prabhupada's books. Now, you know, if you have any questions, contact me or contact anybody who's into Krishna consciousness. But keep reading Srila Prabhupada's literature. It's designed to be scrutinized by the intelligent mind. And yeah, I think I should tag some more of my videos with your name and some other people's names too. I'd be interested to know how you, you came across Krishna consciousness. It's a very important query for me. I just want to know, you know, how did you get that book? Why did you post this picture on Instagram that talks about reincarnation? And also, I want to tell you one more thing. There's many forms of yoga. The whole world is very interested in yoga right now because everybody either wants to live longer, have better sex, or just be healthy or have spiritual powers. So they're doing all of these forms of advanced yogis and falling under all of these different uh, yoga masters. And that's like, you know, when you go to a hospital, you might see a specialist. You might see an air doctor, nose doctor, throat doctor. You might see somebody who knows how to fix bones. You might deal with somebody with reproductive health. There's one doctor that deals with old people, and there's another doctor that deals with young people. But then you have a type of doctor that knows everything and can cure everything. And that is the same thing as saying bhakti yoga. So bhakti yoga unbeknownst to many people is totally and supremely independent of all other forms of yoga you can dress normal you can hold your regular job and do normal things but actually people won't understand what you're all about because they're looking at your physical body and they don't realize that he or she who was engaged in bhakti is in a different class altogether they're not in the mode of ignorance they're not in the mode of passion or anxiety and they're not in the mode of goodness they're in a transcendental mode that is totally different and when you practice bhakti <clears throat> even if you make a little advancement in bhakti you still gain all of the benefits from doing all of the other forms of yoga this was taught 120 million years ago to the residents of the solar kingdom the solar dynasty and then it was repeated 5,000 years ago on the planet earth by Bhagawan or God, Sri Krishna himself. So once again, keep reading Srila Prabhupada's books. And if you can, chant these 32 vowels that will help you attain the supreme goal. Not any preliminary goals, not any beginning or intermediary steps, but the absolute supreme goal, which is love of God, life after life after life. And it goes... Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Good luck with everything, young lady.